Toyota has finally revealed the GR Corolla and it's everything we've been waiting for and more. Heat for the Streets Toyota debuts first ever GR Corolla. If you're watching this when this video goes live, I'm in California for the in-person reveal of the GR Corolla. So definitely stay tuned for uh, well driving impressions one day, maybe later this year, but definitely my walk around. I Fingers crossed I'll be able to give you more in-person content of the amazing GR Corolla. What we have, guys, is everything that I would have wanted based off what we had in the GR Yaris. We're getting the same 1.6 liter, three-cylinder direct-injected turbo engine with 300 horse. Those rumors saying 300 horse were absolutely spot on, and my estimation of 273 pound-feet of torque uh, is right there with it. <laughs> we can start the celebration. It is, of course, getting GR4 all-wheel drive system. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, we have two grades. We have a base core and then launch year exclusive circuit edition. And guys, I won't have pricing on either of these until later this year, so definitely stay in tune. But this vehicle should be launched, at least in theory, by fall around October. And just like the Supra, I have a good feeling that we're gonna see different special editions for this vehicle every single year that it's available. It kinda of reminds me of the Lexus LC. There's so many different special editions of that. Um, and that's ironically also built in the Motomachi plant where this vehicle is built alongside the GR Yaris at the GR factory built inside of the Motomachi plant. And just like the GR86, there's a complimentary one-year membership to NASA featuring high-performance driving event with expert instruction, which you will definitely need. Now, instead of going through the really long but excellent press release, what we're going to do is break it down picture by picture and then kind of tie up the ends at the end with some additional information. So there's nothing different with the engine other than it's been boosted past what the GR Yaris is capable of. And we know that the GR Yaris's engine has been tuned to 400 horsepower or so on stock internals. So we have a 300 horsepower variant coming in the GR Corolla. Now what we see here is the launch exclusive circuit edition. So what does that bring us that's exclusive to this vehicle versus the core? Well, there's a lot. And if you guys notice, maybe you don't, but these are all new headlights. Um, gone are kind of like the triple lids or the triple LED daytime running lights. It's now all been integrated into one cohesive piece. Um, and then we also have the single uh, by LED headlight here. Now we also have fog lights that are standard, I believe on both grades. Now this launch edition, or should I say circuit edition has glossy black on the front here, where I believe the core has matte black plastic. We also have that GR badge here. And we have on this particular model, a raised hood. And this raised hood reminds me of the IS 500's raised hood. Now we also have functional hood scoops. We'll have a better image of them in a little bit. Um, yes, the side vents have been confirmed at least with a previous teaser. So there it is in it's all of its glory. And then we also have red painted four piston calipers. Now these calipers are actually made from aluminum. So a little bit lighter weight where the core additions are not going to have this cool GR badging and red paint color on the caliper. We have gloss black side mirrors that are heated on both the base and the limited edition. We have, of course, black daylight openings here. And then uh, we have GR4 on every single edition here on uh, the rocker panels or side skirts, whatever you want to call them. And then on the back, we have a wide body. Now it's a wide body pretty much everywhere. So the, this panel here on the door is aluminum. This front fender is aluminum. I believe the hood is aluminum. And then we'll have a roof that depending on whether you get the core or not is going to be carbon fiber and it's the forged carbon fiber similar to what we see on the GR Yaris and I didn't expect to be honest I thought that was going too far I, I held out hope that maybe there's a special edition that would have the carbon fiber roof and we got it with a launch edition that's awesome also with this launch edition we have this uh, high raised matte black spoiler where on the core edition you're just going to get a, a simple lip spoiler a better look at the front here definitely these headlights look a sharper than, than the outgoing models that's for sure um, next image we look at the rear and check this out not only do we have dual exhaust toyota's like no no here's triple exhaust now it's supposed to help with back pressure and overall flow the thing is is i don't know how they how this is going to sound i'm not going to get my hopes up for like a mean sounding sounding vehicle the elantra in that i just drove sounded incredible i don't think this gr yaris 
or sorry, GR Corolla is going to sound as good. But I hope Toyota proves me wrong. I mean, with with a rear inlet like this, it's very unique with a triple exhaust. I hope it sounds good, but I'm not going to get my hopes up anyways. Uh, of course, GR Corolla here on the lift gate and glossy black on the back for the, the circuit edition here. Okay, here are those functional hood vents that are only on the launch edition, circuit edition. And I wish they just would have called it launch edition. It's easier for me anyways. But yeah, you can see these are functional as I zoom in. And when I first looked at them, you know, uh, from the back here, I'm like, you know, these could just be tacked on. But nope, Toyota, Toyota for sure made it functional here. Here's a better look of forged carbon fiber roof looking now. It's it look to me, it looks like camouflage carbon fiber. It's amazing. Now the shark fin is going to be paint matched on the core because the roof will be paint matched on the core because it's not carbon fiber. But on the special edition, launch edition, circuit edition, we have a matte black shark fin at the top for the antenna. A better look at that rear exhaust. Can't wait to hear it. Uh, a better look at the zoomed in GR badge on the engine cover and it says turbo, of course, with the three cylinder 1.6 liter. Now inside guys, I have a lot to talk about here. Let's get into it. So what we're looking at is a prototype. We're not going to see this sort of interior, I don't think, at launch. And the reason is, is that the Circuit Edition is going to have red accents on the black. So you'll have red accents on the suede with a le leatherette exterior. So this is fake leather on the outside, but we do have a specific type of suede. I'll, I'll tell you what it is in the subtitles. But according to the press release, we'll have red accents here on the Circuit Edition, including the steering wheel. We also have a 12.3 inch MID back here. This thing is huge. It's going to look awesome and you can see the linear tachometer here the g-forces as well as the, you know the turbo boost gauge so all your safety features are there by the way it's toyota safety sense 3.0 uh this is like an unfinished plastic piece here on the front of the steering wheel expect a different finish here i would for you know the, the production version jbl is standard on the special edition it is optional on the core so the jbl is eight speaker and the base is six speaker if i remember correctly from the press release and check this out where are all those buttons on the side of the screen well they're gone because toyota has integrated just like the corolla for europe as well as the corolla cross for europe they've integrated the new Toyota interface, which is the same thing as the Lexus interface, um, which is fully touchscreen, Android Auto, uh, Apple CarPlay, wireless, and it's just going, and also you can say, hey, Toyota, take me to McDonald's or Starbucks or Target, I don't, whatever you got, whatever you weirdos do out there, it'll do it. So it has, it has smart AI packed in there. Um, nothing changes here, but the, it reminds me, we have heated seats, um, standard on the GR, Corolla Circuit Edition. It's going to take some time for me. But also on the special edition, you get a heated steering wheel. You can get heated seats and heated steering wheel as the cold weather package on the core edition. So that's awesome. Now, what do we have going on in the middle here? Well, we have a handbrake. The Corolla manual transmission that I drove a couple weeks ago had, you know, an automatic electronic parking brake. Thank God we actually have a traditional e-brake here. I love it. We also have, uh, you know, your aluminum pedals that are standard between both grades. Now you have a Marizo signed that is Akio Toyota's racing name. Um, and this is for the special edition. You won't be able to get this exact shifter, the core model. Now the shifts have been shortened. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm excited to, to definitely row the gears here. I thought the throws were pretty long on the normal Corolla, but it kind of fit the nature of that Corolla, but this uh, it looks like it also have drive mode. So speaking of the driving modes, um, we have three of them. You're going to have normal, sport, and track. Normal is front wheel drive 60%, rear wheel drive 40%. You also have sport, which is 70%. Rear wheel drive, 30% front wheel drive. Then you have a track mode, which is 50-50. So that's pretty amazing. And on the core model, you're going to have open differentials, but you can get an upgraded performance package, which gives you the Torsen limited slip differentials on the front and rear diffs, um, which is standard on this special edition circuit edition. <laughs> of course, no sunroof in here because of, you know, the carbon fiber roof on this particular model. But for the circuit edition, what you're seeing here is pretty accurate, except expect 
more red accents on, on the vents and the stitching, the steering wheel and the seats. Now you're gonna have cloth seats on the core edition. GR headrest here, looking good. Now remember, this is probably going to have red stitching is my guess on, because this is a prototype we're looking at, but for the circuit edition. Now there's the specifications here, which you guys probably want to know. Uh, wheelbase is 103.9, which is actually pretty similar to the Veloster N and definitely shorter than what we see on, let's say the Elantra. And those numbers come to mind because I just drove both of those vehicles this past week. Five seater, pretty cool. Curb weight is a little bit more and we'll check out the spreadsheet on how the official specs of this vehicle stack up to the official specs of the other competitive vehicles on the market. 300 horse at 6,500 RPM. So you're gonna wanna rev this thing out. Uh, 273 pound feet of torque. You hit that peak torque from 3,000 to 5,500. Manual transmission only. So there are these rumors that there would be an automatic transmission that is not happening at least for the first year of GR Corollas. It's six speed manual only. Um, okay, let's talk about these suspension. So we have McPherson struts up front, but we have a double wishbone multi-link in the back. That's incredible. Uh, of course, I talked about the brakes already. I didn't talk about the two disc uh, calipers in the back. 18-inch uh, wheels, of course. And here are the tires, 235 by 40s on 18-inch Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Giro Corolla pricing will be announced in the coming months. We'll go on sale later this year. We knew that. All right, let's talk about availability and more colors here. So Cirque Edition will be a limited run model available in 2023. So more than likely you'll place your orders for it here in uh, early 2022 and you'll get it in 2023. The non-special edition should be available by the end of the year. Standard colors are white, supersonic red, and heavy metal, and that is on the circuit edition. But if you wanna look at the core grade, you're only able to get white, black, and supersonic red. So this heavy metal color is exclusive to the launch edition circuit, de circuit edition. So now that we have official specifications here, we can compare apples to apples against its biggest rivals here. So GR Corolla coming in, lane number C or column number C here, 300 horse. Guys, it's it's right up there with the Civic Type R. Now we don't have full specs on the upcoming Civic Type R on the 11th generation Civic, but it shouldn't be that much different than what we already have. Now GR Corolla weighs a little bit more, about 100 pounds more than the Civic Type R, but it's got all wheel drive. So that's a, a huge benefit. So uh, also the Elantra N that I just drove should be a bargain in theory, in theory, compared to the GR Corolla. Now, if if the I'm just taking a stab, if the core edition is 37k, that launch edition, circuit edition will probably be 5k more. Now, uh, it's probably an extra two, three grand at least for the performance package or the limited slip diffs. That's just my guess. To be honest, I don't think we'll get pricing on the circuit edition this year. If we do, that's great. If not. We'll still have pricing on the core edition. We can kind of extrapolate from there. In comparison to the Golf R, no, it doesn't have the same amount of power. Maybe it's not quite as lightweight, but it should be more affordable in theory. Could it be more reliable? I don't, I don't know. I mean, this vehicle, who knows? It's a Toyota, so it should be more reliable. But WRX is definitely a competitor to this vehicle. And interestingly, the WRX doesn't weigh that much more than the GR Corolla, even with uh, you know the lightweight um, aluminum panels on this. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the GR Corolla Circuit Edition comes in at a lighter weight than this with the carbon fiber roof. So stay tuned for that, those sort of specific details. But man, this hot hatch or hot sedan, some of these are sedans, but man, this segment is getting so hot and I'm just very excited for the GR Corolla. Who would have thought Toyota would bring a vehicle like this, a, a Corolla nonetheless, that is the most tempting model in their sports lineup. I know the GR86 is great. The Supra is fast as hell, but the GR Corolla to me is the most drool worthy vehicle that they're gonna be coming out for the new three brothers. It used to be the Celica, the Supra, and the MR2, but now it's the Corolla, the 8.6, and the Supra. So pretty exciting times we're living in Toyota, being competitive again when it comes to fun cars. And it's also trickling into the Lexus lineup as we're finding out with IS500 and the new NX that I'm driving right now. It's actually pretty fun to drive despite it being a crossover. But I know you guys have a lot of things to say and comment on about the GR Corolla. I can't wait to give you my hands-on impressions of this vehicle and then driving impressions, of course, because yeah, yeah. I mean, it's exciting to, to walk around it and sit in it, but there's nothing like driving the vehicles you guys know. I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.